Jalen Duran could have gone anywhere. He likely would have commanded a seven-figure salary if he went to the NBA G League. But on Friday, the nation's number one recruit picked Penny Hardaway and Memphis. Here to break this down with me is Jeff Calkins, columnist of the Daily Memphian. Jeff, what was the impact of this for you? How do you magnify what occurred today with Duran's decision? Well, it, it's stunning um, for a couple of reasons. One, obviously, you get the number one recruit in America. That doesn't happen every day. But the other thing is, is that this is a kid who had no real connection to Memphis. Previously, it, throughout Memphis history, you sort of think, well, you can get the kids if, if they have some connection to Memphis. James Wiseman played high school ball in Memphis. So this is a completely different scenario. And then just in terms of, of on the court, I think it elevates a team that already you thought might be an NCAA tournament team into a team that you think, you know what, maybe this is a team that could make a little bit of a run in the tournament. Would you qualify this as the most impressive recruiting win for Penny Hardaway of his Tigers tenure? Yeah, I think it is because um, you look at the others. Obviously, it started with James Wiseman, the former number one player in the class that, who they had gotten. And then Precious Achua and Lester Canonas sort of followed uh in you know followed James to Memphis here he went out and got a guy straight up against Kentucky straight up against Miami and as you point out a lucrative offer from the G League and um to the to, to the bitterness of of Kentucky fans he is headed to Memphis yeah now we've seen a lot with NIL with at first, when the NBA G League was starting to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars, there was the issue of, oh, how are colleges going to compete? How has name, image, and likeness helped make this possible for Memphis? Yeah, I don't, we don't know exactly the particulars, but I don't think this would have happened but for the new name, image, and likeness rules. First, I think he would have probably gone to the G League where he could get money up front. Well, now, um, because players can have their own endorsement contracts, he can get just as much money um, by going to college. Indeed, he has said that the name, image, and likeness rules took money off the table so he could base this on other things. Again, we don't know. We'll see who he pops up endorsing. There's a lot of rumors about FedEx. Um, but I don't think there's any question that but for the name, image, and likeness rules, he would not be headed to Memphis. Well, those preseason top 25s waste no time. Already at 17 for Memphis for a couple different rankings. Where do you think the expectations should be for the Tigers going in? Well, I mean, listen, it's been a long time since this program even got to the NCAA tournament. So, so, so let's start there. Um, and I think we have seen a lot of these off-season celebrations lead to not not much glory on the court. So I do think, though, that this is a team that you can look at that now should go to the NCAA tournament. And, um, you know, a Sweet 16 would be wonderful. And depending on what other recruits might come, <clears throat> uh, Amani Bates, um, it could be, uh, the ceiling could be higher than that. Now, not to be a party pooper here, but with the cloud <laughs> of the NCAA case kind of hanging overhead, do you think the celebration should be muted about this? You know, I don't, I think there should be the glorious celebration that there is about this, both because of, of it's, it's an accomplishment to get Jalen Duran, and also because I think it says something about how Penny can operate in this new universe. And it says something that, that will apply to recruits well beyond Jalen Duran. So I think all celebrations are fully uh, appropriate. Is it true that we don't know what the uh, NCAA punishment will ultimately be for Memphis in the Wiseman case? Yes, it's true. Is it possible that it could involve a postseason ban? Yes, it's possible. But I guess I would say uh, take joy where you can find it and worry about tomorrow, tomorrow. There's nothing that can be done about that. That decision will come down when it comes down. And uh, in the meantime, things are looking pretty bright. That they are in a very busy weekend in Memphis. What does it say that we have a golf tournament going on? We have the Tigers starting football, Isaac Bruce going into the Hall of Fame, and we are talking about basketball in August. It's simply like no other here in Memphis. Jeff, thank you so much for taking some Thanks, time. Thanks, Clayton. Yep. Always be good to be with you. Thanks, Clayton. Appreciate it.